The following video will demonstrate the proper procedure for cleaning and maintaining your ZOM Series 1000 SS60 CO2 volume meter. To disassemble, remove the aspirator bulb, part number 1042. Remove the pressure gauge, part number 1029. Unscrew the sight glass assembly. An adjustable wrench may be needed to loosen the sight glass cage assembly. When removing the assembly from the unit's body, be sure not to drop the sight glass gaskets or sight glass from within the cage assembly. Using a wire pick, remove the bottom gasket, part number 1038B, the sight glass, part number 1036, and the top gasket, part number 1038A, as shown. Turning the unit over so the bottom side is facing off, use the slotted screwdriver and remove the six screws, part number 1011. Remove the number 1002 base and the number 1006 piston body from the unit. Remove the number 1010 piston body gasket and the number 1003 base shield. Using a 360 force hex key wrench, remove the number 1008 piston lock pin and separate the number 1007 piston handle from the number 1005 piston. Push the number 1005 piston through the number 1006 piston body. Using a pick, remove the number 1009 piston O-ring. Remove the clamping device screw, part number 1024. Using snap ring pliers, carefully remove the snap ring, part number 1020A-5, from the plug on the bottom of the number 1020 valves. Push the plugs through the bore of the valves. Remove the two, number 1020A-3, and the one, number 1020A-4 O-rings from the plugs. Wash all parts of the volume meter in warm, soapy water. Use a bottle or test tube brush and scrub the bore of all the valves, sight glass assembly, the inside of the unit, and threaded bosses. Once all items have been thoroughly cleaned, rinse with warm water. Once rinsed, dry with compressed air. Now we're ready for reassembly. Using a quality O-ring lubricant, Spread some on the plugs of the valves prior to installing the O-rings. The best method to install the O-rings is to install the two large rings first and the small one last.
Carefully push the plugs back into the valve bores. Reinstall the snap rings. Pack the inside of the piston body with a quality O-ring lubricant. Reinstall the piston O-ring. Push the piston through the piston body, being careful not to cut the O-ring. Reassemble the piston handle to the piston using the piston lock pin. Work the piston in and out, making sure it operates freely. Align the piston body gasket with the six screw holes on the bottom of the volume meter body. Add the piston body onto the volume meter body. Then add the base on top of the piston body, making sure that all the screw holes align. Install the six screws in a star pattern. Tighten the screws in a star pattern. Work the piston in and out, making sure no binding has occurred. Replace the base shield. Holding the sight glass cage assembly, install the top gasket, the sight glass, and the bottom gasket. Thread the sight glass assembly to the volume meter body till hand tight. Using light machine oil or silicone spray, place a few drops in the gap around the bottom of the gauge case. This will help lubricate the springs and linkages, promoting proper movement. Apply some Teflon tape or pipe dope to the threads of the gauge. Reinstall the gauge, tightening till the gauge face is located in the forward position, facing the operator. Reinstall the clamping device screw. Install the aspirator bulb. Close the lower inlet valve. Open the top vent valve. Establish a counter pressure of at least 10 PSI on the unit. Close the top vent valve. Allow the unit to sit untouched for 10 minutes and observe the pressure gauge to see if any leaks are present. If any leaks are found, repair as necessary and repeat the last step. You are now ready to proceed with the ZOM SS60's normal operation. For recalibration of the gauge and thermometer, please view the ZOM thermometer and gauge calibration video located on our main video page. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on our ZOM and Nagel product lines. And be sure to visit ZOMNagel.com for more valuable information.